hello thinkers welcome to another video i'm really glad to have you back here if this is your first video welcome specially and please consider subscribing to join this family of learners and thinkers i would like to announce to you that we are giving away camera drones for this month of july 2021 all you've got to do is make a post on facebook and you stand a chance to win if you follow just four steps details in the description below you also stand a chance for 25 percent discount on the powerful solar panel from banggood all through the month of july 2021 details in the description below as well it's coming up yeah. i have read a lot of comments about the videos of free electricity from spark plugs and for the sake of my own sanity i would like to dwell on the positive ones and thank you to all that stayed positive and kept an open mind in the comments you actually said my plugs could be fake. Well, I have no idea. We have you know, fake pack spark plugs. All I do is buy spark plugs, put it inside my generator, motorcycle, or car, and start working. I don't have to worry whether it's fake or original. But when it comes to generated electricity, you guys have made me realize that this could be fake. Well, I'm learning. Because this channel is all about learning, you know. So, but I've listened to you. How do the tests, you know? And some of you suggested that I did the connection wrongly as well. So, I want to do the test and see if we are going to have electricity spark plugs with this spark plug actually, you know. So, um, I have. Uh, I could sum up all your comments to the following: one, my spark plugs are fake, and I should test it. Well, here are my apparatus to test the plugs, a LED, light emitting diode, a multimeter to test for the resistance. Two, that my connection is wrong. It is the tip of the iridium plug that is the center electrode to the ground. Yes, I will also correct that in this video. Three. Use a speaker instead of ordinary magnet. Well, here is a speaker. These are the summary of the most same comments I have had on the videos. First of all, I want to emphasize that my videos are not to criticize or castigate anyone, but they are investigative for us all to learn. I have repeatedly told you that on this channel, we all learn together, and this video and my other videos reflect absolutely that. I'm very open to having this experiment work for me and more desperate than you are. Have you checked the name of this channel at all? It is Think Electric Africa. So anything that gives us cheap, clean and most importantly, genuine source of energy is in my interest. So don't doubt my effort here at all. And this is why I would like to invite you to see my Biogas Digester videos for cooking as well as generating electricity from food, human and animal wastes. That could be free or affordable for us all. Spark Plug's experiment, whether genuine or fake, has been on social media for many years. That you saw it first on one channel doesn't make it the brainchild of the creator. Just do your findings and keep an open mind. It is not everybody that is out to get you, I can promise you that. Back to the business of the day which is to test the spark plug I used during the last two attempts. In my research about the original spark plugs, I found out that original iridium spark plugs has a resistor that helps to boost its energy and in this case to spark and help the mixture of fuel and hair achieving a more efficient combustion in the combustion chamber. And that's why we are going to test for the resistance of the spark plugs. Mind you. The manufacturer didn't say that the resistor could be used to generate free electricity. No, I couldn't find such information and if you have such documentation, kindly send me a link. I would also like to confirm to you that on many free electricity from spark plugs videos that I've seen during my research, I have seen so many different and distinct connections to the extent that I'm super confused right now. But hey, I will listen to you guys. I will do it your preferred way and hopefully I am wrong. So let's start off with the multimeter to test for the resistance of the iridium spark plugs I got for the two attempts. I set the multimeter to 20k ohms 
and for my research, a good spark plug should give a reading between 4K to 15K steady. Well, on testing this, I could see the spark plug not having a steady resistance or not showing any resistance at all. Now, let's do the LED test to confirm if this is a good spark plug or a fake one as most of you will say. I had to put some wires to attach to the ledge for easy testing and when that was completed, hmm. It brought no light. Could this confirm that I'm wrong all along? Well, let's do one more test with the Bosch spark plug. Is it Bosch or Bosch? Whatever. So, um, I want to test the resistance of this as well. Okay, you see? The multimeter did show a reading indicating that the push spark plug has some resistance. Now, let us do the LED test with this. Well, I got no light from the LED either, so what does this mean, guys? For the larger percentage of you that suggested the plugs might be fake, yes, you are correct, maybe it's fake just maybe as the resistance test failed as well as the led test so there will be no need to go further to attempt to generate electricity from this which means i may not be able to confirm if my connection was wrong or right Now, here is the original Iridium spark plug I ordered from an authorized dealer in the US. Like I promised many of you in my response to your comments, I would like to get to the bottom of this and make sure I present my result to you on this channel. This is Iridium 
OEM original spark plug from the US. I have to order this. For my tests because you guys said all the plugs I used earlier are fake so this came early okay. in order to keep this video short I will test these spark plugs and attempt to generate free electricity from it in another video. Until then, stay positive guys and remember to subscribe and click on the bell for notification when I drop the video. Please drop your positive comments below. I'll see you then.